example, you join me on a busy day on my day-to-day -day job for Ridge Monkey. I've serviced the tackle shops today and my last port of call was the tackle box at Dartford. You find me here in their rod room. We're going to be doing some filming today, recapturing my favourite moments from series one of The Great Escape. There's been loads of them and I can't wait to tell you all about it. There's been lots of highlights for me during the first series of The Great Escape, but for, for me, the biggest hurdle that I had to overcome was boat work. I was very nervous when I knew we was going to Carp Lantus because I was quite a novice in the boat. The lake itself, Carp Lantus, is very deep, up to 38 foot in places. You have to go out there. When we arrived, Coos the Bailiff said the stipulation is anyone hooks into a fish, you will have to go out in the boat and play it. So I knew that I would have to overcome the fear. I don't know if it was the fear of going out in the boat or just the depths. But for me, fortunately enough, two occasions I got out in the boat. The first one was a really nice mirror, but the second one was just so atmospheric. It was a great moment and something that stayed with me forever. I was being towed around in the deep by a 45 pound mirror. The mist was rising in the early morning. I was quite anxious because it was quite dark still. When I first got into the boat, it felt like an eternity while I was out there but it really was a great moment. And uh, when we got back onto the bank, it was a majestic Dutch mirror, 45 pound. Forty-five pound, biggest of the trip so far. Get in there. Well, there we have it. Proof in the pudding. If you don't change spots all week, the results are there to be had. An absolutely majestic Dutch mirror. The colours on it are absolutely phenomenal. So pleased with this one. They're visiting the spot every morning. And yeah, this is the main reason why we came to Carp Lantus. Absolutely lovely. Mirrors like this, dark as you like, black as a hat. There's been lots of great fish I've caught during the Great Escapes. We've been privileged to fish some fantastic venues with incredible carp, but it has to be Sazaki. Bit of a funny story on this. Myself, Dave and Jay was catching lots of fish, but lots of small fish. During the night, left hand rod has gone, real steady fight, plodding, really holding the bottom. Shouted up to Dave and previously he said to me, do not wake me up unless it's a lump. I'm sick of seeing small fish. Because there'd been fish over 40 pound already on the film, I was contemplating putting this fish back. Ran up, woke the gaffer up, Paul, and said, Paul, I've got a 40 pounder. Do I keep it for the lads, wake them up, or do I slip it back? As I was up seeing Paul, Dave's calling, my middle rod's gone. Playing the fish in, came in very easily, sorted it out, and that fish was actually 40 pound. So we knew the other one was substantially bigger. For me, it probably isn't just a favourite fish that I've caught on the Great Escapes. It probably is my most favourite capture I've ever had. That's big. Oh, yes. It's a very big fish, a lot bigger than I actually anticipated. Go. Oh, it's big, that. 70. What the? 78. 78 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well done, <bro. laughs> 
you know. Yeah, <laughs> well, I ain't quite, I ain't quite sure what to say. I ain't quite sure how to hold it. Seventy-eight pounds. Oh, it's an absolute dream. I ain't quite sure what to say or what to do. I can't put this into words at the minute. 78 pound, smash for PB by 10 pound. As a Zaki monster, and to say I'm blown away is an absolute understatement. I'm not sure even how I'd hold this. It's breaking my back, I'm in these. Thank you, Croatia. I'm gonna get some steals and then get this monster back in the deep. Bloody amazing. I'm overwhelmed, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Just smash my PB. All the talk of everyone fishing at range, got to be in extreme distances. Found a short plateau, 16 wraps. And 78 pound later, we're going home one happy buddy. The trips themselves when we're organising, the journeys, the banter, the food, the fishing, the venues. We're three very privileged people, you know, we're getting to go fishing around some incredible venues all around the world. And you know what, we work as a team. If someone's struggling, because there has been times where people haven't been on fish, we've let them come into swims, the lads have let me jump into swims. Moving venues on Abbey Lakes, I went from fishing with Jay on Kingfisher, across to Dave on Heron. So for me, there isn't one great moment with them. It's just being a part of it and being involved with the other two, being privileged enough to do these things. So it'd have to be Ictus, I call it the Death Cup, when the lads went up the supermarket, came back with mackerel, octopus, wasabi, chili, all off cuts of any fish heads, fish eyes, tails, it all went in the grinders and got put in one of our Thermo mugs and every challenge I know that the lads will try to incorporate if he's eating or drinking some sort of fish, just to keep you guys, the viewers, occupied with my gagging. So for me, it would definitely be the Death Fish Cup. Oh, it stinks. What is that massive thing just dropped in there? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the bottle of chunks. <laughs> Dan, ain't, Dan ain't got enough. <laughs> Dan has not got enough. Put it next to it. <laughs> God, that's, woo. <laughs> None of us are drinking this. That ain't drink. Three, two, one, go. Mm mm. Shut up. Stop it. That's disgusting, man. <laughs> I've got to zone him out. No. Oh. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Go away then. Do I think weather plays a big factor in the trips? I actually do. Uh, you can be away on some venues and different climates, different parts of Europe, Croatia and Hungary. They're very warm climates, it's very hot in the day and it cools down at night and you seem to get a lot of night bites. Whereas Carplantis, when we went there, it was very overcast. Oh, the birds are still singing, Ah, oh, soaking in here, for sake. this. And we thought it'd actually bring the fishing on, but it didn't. So that venue was a little bit different. We've actually just filmed The Great Escape in England this year and it was a complete contrast to fishing abroad where we've gone away in shorts, no t-shirts, the aqua shoes, enjoying the sun. 
it was completely different contrast. Lying in full waterproofs, waders, sitting in the bivvies, hoping that the storms would pass over. But during the duration of the whole trip, I think we probably only had about eight to 12 hour window. It was actually quite sunny and Dave capitalised on the good weather conditions and did very well there. I'll let you guys make your own mind up whether you think the weather front played a big factor during the UK Great Escape. All I know is it was a blast and we went home absolutely soaked.